We have to get you out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's you. I can't believe I found you. Come on, we gotta go. Aria. Aria. Oh, thank god you're okay. I was so worried about you, Aria. With the fire and everything, I, I couldn't find you. Right. You were so worried about me. That's why you left me in a burning building. I know you were with my sister on our engagement night. Aria, we were just talking about the wedding. You left me to die. Some stranger saved me, and, and all you could care about is my sister. Then cancel the engagement. Chloe's a better match for Julian anyway. You can go get some lunch for Aria. Now. You don't deserve Julian or the company. We've got a great deal on the table to relieve you of your responsibilities of the company. Don't be a fool, Aria. Sign these. Your mother thought it would be a good idea to leave you the company in her will, but you've been running it into the ground. Because of the audit? It's a great deal, Aria. You'll be set for life. Just take the deal, Aria, and go back to Canada, or wherever you were. Shut up, Chloe. Get out, both of you. Wow, losing your baby sure did make you better. Maybe you can go somewhere and finally start a family. Glad you came to your senses. Mom? Mommy, is that you? Uh, I'm not your mommy. Uh, who are you? Leo. Mom? Mommy, is that you? Uh, I'm not your mommy. Uh, who are you? Leo. Leo, Bennett, leave this nice lady alone. But she looks just like the mommy from my dreams. Leo, Bennett, go to your room now. It's you. You're the guy that saved me. It's the least I could do. Sorry about Leo, his mother. Never mind. How are you feeling? I've had better days. Thanks again for saving me. I, I didn't get your name. I'm Arya Taylor. Oh, it's Casper Bennett. Casper Bennett, the CEO of Luxury Hotels and Resorts? Yeah, I own the hotel where you had your engagement party. We're still investigating the cause of the fire, but we're going to take care of all your medical bills. Oh, that's OK, Mr. Bennett. Casper. Casper. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Why don't you just take it easy? Hey! What are you doing with my fiance? Um, hey, get your hands off my fiance! Julian, our engagement is over. We're done. You're breaking up with me? For this guy? I'm breaking up with you because you're a liar and a cheater. Fine, but this is your fault, Arya. All you ever care about was work. I'm a man with needs. Well, I'm glad Chloe could make you feel like a man. You better watch out for this one. She'll make you feel small and weak and worthless. I happen to believe when a man feels small, it's because of his own insecurities and impotence. Sorry I had to see that. Oh, it's not your fault. You can't make him something he's not. Feel better. I did it. I broke up with Aria. Chloe, we can finally be together. I'm so happy. I love you. I love you too. Mm. Julian, if you don't mind, I have some things I need to discuss with my daughter. No problem. I got business of my own to take care of. <sighs> See, Daddy, I told you she's no match for me. Of course, I taught you well. Hey, listen, the CEO of Bennett Group just flew back into the United States. You should go meet him. Casper Bennett? Yeah, he's building a huge hotel downtown. Go introduce yourself as the new CEO of Galactic. Do whatever you have to do to encourage him to put one of our stores in every one of his hotels. Daddy, you already know Arya is the designated CEO of the company. Not anymore, Princess. Everything she had belongs to you now. <sighs> Arya, I'm gonna steal your fiance and your company. Everything you have will be mine.
Don't worry about it. I'll deal with it when I get back to the office. I have to go. Come in. Um, who are you? I'm William, an associate of Mr. Bennett's. Casper thought you might enjoy something better than hospital food for dinner. I'm actually allergic to carrots. Hmm, interesting. So is Leo. He shook his head. I saw no sharks, and no one here admits hey. to having used the canoe. Mommy, you came! Leo, call her Aria. But she looks just like the mommy from my dreams. Leo, what have I told you about dreams? I just wanted to come by and say thank you for dinner. I can take that. I can read to him. I'll be right back. Okay, where were we? Did you get Mary Mason through them, Nancy asked? What's up, Daniel? I heard your hotel got lit on fire last night. You wanna come out and drink it off? Got some hot girls with me. Your hotel got lit on fire last night. You wanna come out and drink it off? Got some hot girls with me. No, actually, I'm in the hospital right now. Leo got appendicitis. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Oh, he's good now. It's actually been a blessing in disguise. <laughs> what? Did you hurt your head in the fire? Speaking of which, I need you to look into something for me. I think someone set the fire. You got it. I'll take care of it. All right, thanks. Fell asleep fast. Yeah, he was waiting for you. It's way past his bedtime. He must really like you. His mom, your wife, I mean. I don't have a wife. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. But Leo needs a mom. So, Miss Taylor, will you marry me? Excuse me, I, I don't think I follow. I mean, you don't have to give me an answer right now. Just give me a chance to pursue you. You don't ask a woman to marry you just because your son has dreams about her. It's not just about Leo. I like you too, Aria. I barely know you. So let's get to know each other. Give me a chance. I'm incredibly flattered, but I'm having a crisis at work, so. I'll change your mind. Good night, Thank Casper. You. It's nice meeting you. Good night. Thank you. Please don't go, Mommy. Leo, someday you're gonna have a new Mommy and she's gonna love you very much. But why can't you be my Mommy? Uh, Leo, the nurse is in your room to give you your medicine. I'm gonna take Aria home. Okay, but please promise you'll come visit me. Okay. Come on, let me drive you home. That won't be necessary. I don't know what you're afraid of. I don't buy it. Okay, but I need to change first. Then you can take me to the office. Deal. Yes, I was thinking more shapes, less boring shapes and colors, like. I don't care what color it is, as long as it makes us more green. Get out of my chair. It's not your chair anymore, Aria. You look familiar to you. You signed your company away in the hospital without even reading the contract. Heartbreak is a scary thing, isn't it, Aria? Maybe. Not as scary as stupidity. You think I'd really sign something you handed over to me? It's not my name, is it? Now get the fuck out of my office before I call security. You're gonna regret this, Aria. Chloe, you stay. What do you want, Aria? I want you to stay in the company. Of course, if you have another better design position available, you're free to resign. I think you forgot something. Can you shut this for me? Mr. Taylor! Who are you? I think it's best we have a chat, Mr. Taylor.
So I met up with a friend for some business. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, Mr. Taylor, is that your little rendezvous was in the parking lot of the Hotel Bennett, exactly 10 minutes before a fire broke out. That's just a coincidence. Hmm. I knew you'd say that. So I reached out to this friend of yours. Now he was generous enough to let me know that you paid him to set a fire to disrupt your daughter's engagement? I'm an associate of Casper Bennett, and he's not happy with the damage to his property. This is crazy. I'm calling the police and I'm suing you for defamation and intimidation. Go ahead. Just know that I have some pretty powerful connections in that world as well. You're a lawyer? Steer clear of Casper Bennett, or your little friend in the hospital will have a new roommate. Good day. Motherfuckers. I have my pawns too. Julian, I need you to meet with Casper Bennett. Hello? Yeah. Hey, it's Casper. I just wanted to let you know that Leo's out of the hospital. He misses you, so I was thinking we could get dinner tonight. Casper, I'm glad to hear that, but I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want him to get attached. I don't want to hurt him like that. I'm really busy. I should probably go. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Sir, Julian Brown is here. How long is this going to take? Don't want to see him. Actually, hold that thought. <sighs> Mr. Brown? Mr. Bennett had to step out for a minute. It's you. You're the guy. I'm here to see your boss. Would you mind waiting a bit? And don't tell my boss what happened earlier. Please take Mr. Brown to the waiting room. Give him some champagne, caviar. As much as he wants. It's more like it. <sighs> Sir, did he really think I was... Don't give yourself away, Mr. Bennett. isn't the only one who misses you. So, this is your new boy, Toy Julian's out the hospital. Yeah, I replaced that handed down trash that you took off her hands. You take that back right now. Actually, speaking of which, Miss Taylor, I have a special delivery. Right on time. <clears throat> Chloe. Are we still going for hookers? Oh, what did you do to him? Oh, he simply had too many drinks with Mr. Bennett. <laughs> I'll leave him in your capable hands, Miss Taylor. Caviar. God, you smell so bad. I love you. What? I wish you could see how beautiful you are. I wish you could see how beautiful you are. You don't know what I've done. I thought about sending Leo away. It was an accident. I wasn't ready to be a father. I was a mess, Aria. I was this close to signing the document. We've all done things we're not proud of. Doesn't mean beautiful things can't come from it. Like Leo, like you. Thanks for the ride, but you should get home to you. Can I pick you up for lunch tomorrow? I'll think about it.
None of this is original. I saw this in New York Fashion Week last week. Hermes used this in their spring collection. I, I've seen 10 of these at the Oscars. Did you approve all these drafts? Aria, I've been doing this for years. I think I know what I'm talking about. A position our father gave you with no training or credentials? Well, you know nothing about fashion designing, so if you think you can do a better job than me, then be my guest. You know what? I think I will. <laughs> From now on, I will be taking over the design department. As for Miss Taylor, I have the perfect job for you. <laughs> Miss Taylor will be the new Senior Vice President of Galactic. Effective immediately. Chloe, might be the biggest promotion you ever have. Wow. I hope you paid William extra to make all this food. William? I made all this myself. Mm. I might be rich, Aria, but I'm a single dad. It's a job you can't have your assistant do for you. You're a good dad, Casper. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. Sweetest cake I ever had. Casper Bennett's grandfather is having a birthday banquet in two days. You're going to that party, and you're going to get close to him. Daddy, don't you find it weird that Arya just promoted me out of nowhere like that? Who cares? Focus! We need to make this deal happen. It could be worth millions! I understand. My grandfather's having a birthday party. I'd love for you to come. Where do I fit into this party full of celebrities and rich people? I'm a nobody. You're not a nobody. You're my plus one. Also, I had a dress custom made for you. At least try it on. I have a feeling, Julian. This is the place I'm gonna find the perfect dress for the banquet. You don't need any fancy dresses. It's a waste of money. You are perfect to me already. Well, this isn't about you. I mean, this is about me. I wanna look stunning for me. Hi. Let me try that one on. Oh. I'm afraid this dress is customized for a VIP. VIP. <laughs> Save it, I know people like you, and the only VIP you can see is this little guy right here in my wallet. Now, let me try it on. It's not about the money, miss. The dress has a particular fit, and you probably would. Probably would in what? Stop bullying her, Chloe. Oh, what, you're the VIP? How about we make a bet? If you can guess the maker of my dress, you can have it. If you can't, then you'll pay for it. If you can guess the maker of my dress, you can have it. If you can't, then you'll pay for it. All right, it's on. It's an artisan sweetie. Wrong, but I'll give you another guess. It's a Wanda Paul. And I thought you were the expert in the design world. Try again, and it's yours. Delana de Caprice. Can you please tell her who designed the dress? The Casper Bennett. So, how would you like to pay, cash or credit? I'm not paying for your dress. I'll pay for it. You have 30K. You're just assistant to Casper Bennett. What, he's paying for your dress? She's worth every penny. Come on, Julian. I hope you find the dress you're looking for, Chloe. Thanks again for the dress. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what should we do now? Maybe we could go back to your place? Thank you.